Okay. We're live. Live playing Hogwarts Legacy. Okay. Uh, last time we were looking at the fucking demigod statues, we collected all of them, and it was a whole fucking, <laughs> a whole fucking thing. Um, so we need to go to Hogsmeade and complete, complete that. Oh, uh, but we got, we got time today, bro. We got hella time. Remove my demigai statues. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigai statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them. Back them. <sighs> yes, I did. Mm -hmm. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demigai statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were an inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. <laughs> Alright, it's like a back and forth for this shit. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigai statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. 
Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. So what? We don't get a trophy for that. Statues. Apparently we didn't get all the demigod statues. The hogs made. So I'm gonna type that up. Uh demi guys statues hogs made. lead to Hogsmeade. I'm just gonna do the whole the whole rounds, the whole round, because it says we're missing one. Let's just make, let's just like go through the town and just, uh, and kind of figure out. Revelio. Rebellion. 
What do we have here? A demigod. I'm going to turn it to night. Rebellion. Rebellion. Aloha Mora.
Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. No, oh, I'm going to drown. Is that where? Oh no, I think that's just the pouch. I don't think. Or is it? Might be just the money pouch. Fine now, dummy guys. It is! There we go. Nice. Happy with that. So then, now we can get out of here. Then, in fact, I'm pretty sure um, we've got all nine there. I'm gonna go, okay, so down all the demi guys. No demi guys here. Hogsmeade's good. Uh, none there. Completed. Completed. Belcroft region. Completed. And we've got none there. None there. Um, none there. None there. Completed. None there. But in Cragcroft Shire. Now. It's over there, so we're gonna travel over here. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Just the guy. 
up until the end. Mm -hmm. Revelio. Okay, let's look through the houses. Alohomora. Alohomora. I know what that means. A Merlin trial. Revelio. Wonder who lives here. Mind now, Demi guys. Okay, here we go. This might be the last one, and we and so we'll get the trophy. One, two, three. There we go. Found all of the fucking demigods dread. All the demigods moons. So I'm. I want to see what happens if when we go back to Hogwarts. Um. If. Uh, if we go back to the faculty tower and we give it to uh, Mr. Moon, Professor Moon, he's gonna—he's there. So what would happen if we do nothing? What if we just make it morning? Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it, and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the Three Broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. Okay, well, nothing. You are fucking small. <laughs> You are a small child. Okay. Well, basically that did nothing. But I roll. Completely that. Let's let's go back to um Secret Room. Let's go back let's go to the room of requirement and uncover all these gear.
And it says, decrease damage taken from inf Inferi. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Increase damage of all damage spells. That's fucking very handy. Do I like it though? Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah, I actually do like it. Okay. Increase damage with Defendo. Defendio. Defendo. Yeah, that's the that's the cut one, isn't it? Oh, we already have that anyway. Increase damage with Crucio. Well, we don't have Crucio. Now we have all legendary. I actually really like that. Um. Just trying to find my. The one I had on before. It was this one, wasn't it? Alright, it was this. Now I'm feeling that, like, the hat's not even... Oh, this matches. There we go. Yeah, that matches. That's cool. Um... I feel like the helmet just does not match. Not the helmet, the hat. Doesn't really match. I mean, this map, this doesn't really match either. That is us. I mean, that matches. Ooh, that matches. Yeah, that is good. Nice. Okay, let's do the fucking main story. Keep getting sidetracked. Okay, go to quests. <laughs> now we can go go to beast class from the first time of school. We can. And how to do um, beasts, which I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I want to learn beasts. One guess is over here. So travel to the beast classroom. They will let me stand there and just fucking. Welcome, everyone. Uh, uh. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, Dardo. none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now it seems many Right, look at the drip. Look at the drip, man. The Holy shit. To care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his Gerald, tongue. get that fucking thing away from me! You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Get it away from me, man. This ugly I like shit. To think it enriches his I'm going to fucking Avada Kedavra. Is ugly fucking thing man I have to fucking assign it you fucking kidding me that 
That's lovely. Ew. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast food? I had to also assign fucking food. Suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald. Shit. Pudding, I like to Fuck think. Gerald. What is this thing? I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. I don't care. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities. Right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please... Do be careful as you feed and groom them. Let me fucking sweating. kill it. Why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. They're just trying fucking cats. Holy shit. Oh, couple of measles or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tush, tush, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really nice. Okay, funny. she looks like she's fucking 40. <sighs> fucking, she looks like a goblin cunt. Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Fuck Persephone, man. Feed and brush the music. Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. I've got to make the rounds, man. Muskins are fond of bogeys. It's got to make the rounds. Surprise with one. Go, you guys are all straight. Is that it? Okay, cool. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. 
Meanwhile, I also encourage I'll you to shoot study your as many I'll places your as you down. can on your own time. Psst, psst. Over here. You fucking pissed, pissed me. The fucking... Watch out at the fucking in-track with the puff, puff skins. <laughs> And I gotta break into this this thing right here. No, it wasn't worth it. Man. Okay, what the fuck do you want? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Right, you... Should I be worried? I'm not sure. What's this all about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. She's gonna trap me, man. I won't Wait. take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <laughs> The weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Damn, a griffin. Or whatever the fuck that is. Jesus. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like i come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. 
I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Revelio. Next quest we have. Um, speak to Sharona in the three point six. Okay, time to go there then. Hello there, nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I forgot how fucking to thank you again deep her voice was. Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord God. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serena. If you Lord. find Lodgok, please give him my best. Lodgok. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Let's go find Lod Lodgok. Fuck me. I don't. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Fuck you, Amit. Welcome to the Ogs Head. Amit, this dick. The empty seat is yours. Hello, Lodgok. Lodgok. Serena said I might find you here. Did she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus. 
in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. It's a What the? I'm gonna see what. Oh, hold up. I wanna. I wanna save. I'm gonna save here. I wanna, like. <clears throat> I wanna see what it will look like with. I don't think this What? Exit to main menu, and I'm gonna go back into it. Cozy than Hogsmeade. What the fuck? What? Hmm. Welcome to the Ogs Head. Bro! The empty seat is yours. Oh, holy shit. I cannot play on this.
I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic on the tree? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? What's the pulsar? And there it is, the witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Ugh. Okay, dokey, bro. I'm pretty sure I already, I've already went in here. It's sealed. So we have... Lumos. Curious. Lumos. Merlin's beard. Rebellion. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Repair. Incendio. Lumos. Revelio. Fucking hell. Lumos. Oh, 
I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Bruh. What up, man? Can't go up there. Lumos. Lumos. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Lumos. This has a moth imprint in it. Same as the door. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Repair it. Sealed shut from the other side. Down I go. No other way. Yeah. 
Lumos. Lumos. Why can't I get up? Hang on, what the fuck? Uh. 
Lumos. Lumos. Final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Incendium. A dead Ashwinder. I had to show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. it. This is for Rookwood. I 
wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe in the rain that might possibly be a Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. My sister Ran misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself yet. I'd like to take you up to your place to visit her. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts, by the way. Hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast School, mm, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the tools in that regard. Please do sit there. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside Holy shit, how many fucking letters I'm getting spammed with, man. Christ. So we have a bunch of fucking quests that we can do, Jesus. Okay, let's uh let's do this then. to see you and deep noticed this bag in the room the other day you must need it to help with your schoolwork deke has seen one of these before deke calls it a knapsack perfect for gathering and transporting beasts <laughs> pleasant little breeze I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beast's class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. 
So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. God. Let's go, Deke. Fucking Deke. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Well, it was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskins nearby. It would be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Where is it? Dick thinks you should be. All the potions you've brewed. Fucking eat them all. Come here, mate. I'll look after you. to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. All right. Fucking what? Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. 
If it's helpful, Deeg has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Love you, sir. They're all the same color, okay. Mm -hmm. I rescued a jobinol. Deke hopes your jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Oh, really? I'll rescue I a moon calf. calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Deke will be waiting for your return. Is that a fucking moon calf, are there? Fuck are these? Come here. Oh, no, you don't. Bro. You fucking dog. Bro, I killed it. Come here, can't.
It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Hold up. Okay. Now let's go back to the room of requirement. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Ah, oh, shit. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Bro, we just conjured a fucking forest. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Actually, perhaps another time. Holy fucking shit! thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Thinks perhaps you didn't know Deke was near. No, I just killed it. No, I'll look after you.
купить. No, fuck's sake. Settle yourself. That beat. I mean you no harm. Beat. Leviosa, Rebellio. Wait. We can! Ah, oh, fuck, I don't have a reading pen. Wait. That is from Time for Scrolls. Oh. Ooh. This is cool. We'll put one over here.
Okay, that's pretty good. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials oh, yes, finally to we can weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Upgrade a piece of gear, nice. Okay, cool, cool. So these are level three. Oh, we need a sneasel. I guess I'll just do that then. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Nice. We got fences, but they're like hedge. And we put in a main quest. Burr, done pretty good. I uh, don't do we need like get um 
Malice Street cooking up in here. you brood. Got some potions. Always good to have some potions up in here. Okay, last one. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Shut up, Dave. Okay, nice. Um, okay, let's go to quests. <sighs> Doesn't really, just really give much. Um, yeah, let's do this then. Let's go to... Damn, bro. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. But you're saying something, knowing me and Ominous. 
I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. All right, bruh. Let's go meet your sister. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel pigs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There mm -hmm. is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now, uh, what you've done. I might just be on a period. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, look at me, man. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he died for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. And I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Mercy, you die. I wish you well. <clears throat> That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. <coughs> it could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. 
If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to bro, me? Bro, she's the my fuck sister. Sebastian, you chill, bro. What happened to your fucking... What happened to your cave, man? What happened? First hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Fine, let's follow Sebastian, bro. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. She probably she probably deserved it, you know. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Oh, good Have I, I now? don't have time for this! <laughs> Probably just got dealt with in two seconds. Thought he was something, bro. Confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Repair her. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. 
We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It sounds as if the Loyalists attacked Anne without cause. I wouldn't put it past them. But I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Revelio. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Bro. Not again! How do we fucking get trapped? What are we fucking trapped on? game sucks. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Is he? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific... I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. One shilling. Rebellion. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts... This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. View. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Couldn't bring up me. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. 
you have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Confirm! Boom. Huh, a stairwell. Treasure. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn. Tells me they're after something bigger. You're not going to believe this. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Seems these journal entries are from. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway? Here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? Revelio. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but... I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. First off, how the fuck do we get out?
Revelio. That's right. Okay, we got we get one guarding of the air set. Don't we already have that? A required level and ah Yeah. Um Okay, well, I guess let's go here. Off on another adventure, are we? Well, we can catch some beasts while we're out. We can catch some fucking toads. I mean, you might. Professor Howard will never believe this. Revelio. Where the fuck the frogs go? How inconvenient so travel was before I invented hell. blue powder. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe. But if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful? Uh, yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't... No. Very well. Oh, 
hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me first. I have an invisibility potion for you, Brad. This place has seen better days. What battle? This battle? If I wanted this little excitement, I'd have a job at a bank. I hope you have your affairs in order. Miss me. I'm glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Harlow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? No, they didn't. Rookwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? Oh, fuck you are. And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rookwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... what does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here, and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. That wasn't me, bro. That did it. Accio, Vingardium Leviosa. Nice. Accio, Vingardium Leviosa. Mm-hmm. 
I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for that. Dead end. Must be another way in. That looks as if it might raise the gate. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yeah, we're straight in the face! Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Ugh. Blast it! There's gotta be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Levioso. Levioso. Not the safest place to sneak into.
teach someone a lesson! <laughs> Bro, where the fuck did he come from, man? He did... Ravenia. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Aloha, Mora. Does he see me? Loud as a troll you are. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Someone's up to top. Oh, that perf made a unicorn skin. That fetches a few galleys. Well, bye bye, me. You may have eluded me now, but you'll pay the price for it next time. Bye, After I'll be having none of your nonsense. Loom it like that again, and you'll soon find yourself. Bye. Save you from these barbarians. Oh, I'll get one of those though.
my wing. It's all right. There we go. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwin before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Oh, nice. Oh, now Off we get up. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. We could even uh we could even ride it. Okay, that's pretty good.
Oh, we got a black hi hippogriff. We're going to use a, a, a festival. I'm gonna go to Hogsmeade and go to um go to here. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Turn quick. If you're Rebellion. Right, can I just... Uh, can't steal her shit. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Cause we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Mooncalf fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Dory calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of thwopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh! But such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to ear with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. How do we get fucking... How do we get beast cages? Oh, that's, like, that's so different.
Okay, I want to go back to um, Room of Requirement. Oh, we get five each. That's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we wanted to get the mouse weight and um Time to release species. Well, get these fucking I'll look after you. ugly birds back in. As this take out. Here's some food for you guys. Oh, it's already fed. There you go. Hey, where you Fine, you want some food here? You fucking rat. Get here, you dog. Oh, you have more. Up. Uh, Homes and scrolls. I went to the wrong thing. Okay, let's go back there then. Bugs mead. Times and scrolls. I don't know why that would be in times and scrolls though. I would suspect them to be in the 
in the beast section. <clears throat> Box meat, here I come. I never know. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Well, we got T shaped person station. Unlocks ability to conjure a T shaped person station. I don't know what a fucking T shaped person is. Okay, well, let's get that. Nothing like finding just the right. <coughs> is a pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's Damn anything it. else I can do to help. Um, beast feeder. <laughs> Doesn't have it. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Oh, that could be cool. Per periodically produces the plant byproduct. So keep an eye on it. What the fuck is byproduct? <clears throat> Nothing like finding that. just the right thing, is there? Well, I can't because that's where we have to. Where are we gonna put it? I reckon over by the water, or over by here. Uh, uh just right here. Seems good. Holy fucking shit.
Nice. I'm just gonna basically take a break from here at the moment. Um, I will come back. I'm just gonna go get something to eat. Um, must have, uh, maybe. Yeah, I might get something to eat. Um, and, um, something to drink. No, Deke. You fucking... You stay over there, Deke. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, take a break right here. I'll be back uh, 10, 15 ish minutes. Yeah.
Okay, I am back. Just got went to get a little drink. Went to get out get the drinks. Uh, got some passion fruit. Shit. I don't know what it is. Okay. <clears throat> Two more beasts. That's pretty cool. Inventory. And yeah, nice. Okay, what are we gonna do next? What is our soldier? Okay, we can go to astronomy class. Or we can do. All this shit. Let's just talk to Deke. See what the fuck the dickhead Deke wants. <laughs> okay, can we upgrade any of that gear? We need Nifla fur. Yeah, so upgrade, we all need Nifla fur. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll take that off because we don't really use Incendio. But we can put on Confringo. Confringo's, yeah. Wait. Oh, there's knees of uh, Confringo are, are all damaged. Yeah, so we'd rather put that on. Nice. <laughs> okay. Would it be <clears throat> like to talk with you when you have a moment? Yeah, fucking okay, okay, Deke. What's up, Deke? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He. <clears throat> what the fuck is happening? What the fuck? The hell is this shit? <clears throat> <clears throat> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving Tubbs. leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> We're on a fucking beach.
Okay, anyway. Nice to see you, my young friend. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Who lived here, I wonder? Need to race now, my friend. Selling the poaching errand turns them spiders. Not worth 
worth the trouble, if you ask me. <laughs> ah, but you trusted the wrong kind. I think you were about to echo your folly. How are we supposed to offer our respects to such a ch It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crackcroft. Alright, don't do that. Stand behind whimsy at the castle's wall. Can I move? When I set about my arrangements, I don't expect to be thwarted by my own allies. I don't expect to have the cloth of my plans unraveled by the very people who stand next to me. I didn't always like a polite battle. The beasts around here can sleep a bit. Hello, Hamora. Sucks you're coming with me. Do cooperate, won't you? Love you also. Bro, he's fucking running. <clears throat> What's over here? Oh, 
shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Did we get it? Settle yourself. Let's go. I mean you no know harm. Revelio. Hobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. <laughs> Tobbs's master is awful. Tobbs. Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Ew.
that didn't sound particularly reassuring. Good for you. The fuck is that? Yuck. Feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Rest in peace, Tobbs. Tobbs dead. familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave.
Your dick. You franked up. Deleted, bros. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my. Deke was afraid of this. Alone in that cave What the so fuck's long? happened to the screen? Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deacon Tobbs once shared the same master. <clears throat> when he... <clears throat> died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly. And will raise a glass to him. With a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Rest in peace, motherfucking Tobbs. Okay. Let's, uh... I could speak with Sebastian. Uh, let's do that. Let's track this. Let's do this quest. Um. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, there they are. The Anything to do with rebellion should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Can you I won't oh. give up. Thank you. What were you and Omina speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. <laughs> Omina swears it was used for the Dark Arts. So he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture oh, Curse. Crucio. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. That's awful. But no matter the circumstance, he should never have cast it. He should have known better. Trust me, it's not as easy <laughs> as you might assume, thinking straight when you've been hit with Crucio. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. 
Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Is Watch that why he's now. blind? I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. What now? Okay, well, let's just go to astronomy class then. Map! You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. your reading is the dragon that's exciting i suppose perhaps you're due for an adventure well look at the drip cuz ladies professor shah astronomy is not divination you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. <coughs> Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it <clears throat> to focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. <laughs> All the good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? Ugh, find a meat telescope in the storage area. Fuck you, a meat. Why do they have stupid names like Harry? This Wilson? was his old telescope. 
Looks practically brand new. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is ink, but we... Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Wonder if there's centaurs in this game. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore. Lumos. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. <laughs> Bro, what are we talking it's about? I, we leave here, all the man, time. The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Lumos, more cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Confirmed. Oh no, not this close to school, I mean. Look, there's the table. Oh, now these are what the fucking tables are for. Lumos. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. <laughs> I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. What an excellent.
I've learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Hello, Hamora. Yo, supper, <laughs> sup, headmaster. Lumos, repair. Room. Revelio. Alohomora. Key of admittance. We've got a trophy, which is cool. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk.
What the fuck? Okay, what I'm gonna do, that part of it glitched, so I'm gonna see if it actually is glitched, so.
Damn. <laughs> We're gonna have to come back later then. Wait, wait. We got down, we got down. Oh, fuck. Unless, unless we can just... No, well, I don't think there's gonna be any way... We can't really do anything about that, which is very annoying. Fuck! Okay. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. Kenzie. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lord Gok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time, However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, let us go then.
handy resource in view. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Alohomora. Revelio. Alohomora. Lumos. And where's he supposed to go? Rebellion. Oh, yeah. Lumos. Rebellion. 
Alohomora. <clears throat> Rebellion. To my photos. Yes. Okay, so we need a 10, so we got a 2, and we got a 4, so we need 6. <coughs> Number 6 is Lizard. Then next one is 7, so we got 4, we just need 3, and there we go. Alohomora. Got a talent point. Very cool. Revelio. Revelio. But this one we need 22, so we've got 12, we've got spider, which is 8, so we just need two more on that. Uh, number two is this thing. 
and we need nine so we get a unicorn which is one and then we also got that thing which is seven so we just need one which is a unicorn here we go Revelio. Finite. Oh, I thought I just fucking died. Revelio. Lumos Challenge accepted. Complete all tiers of a challenge. Ooh, nice. Revelio. Oh, well, what the fuck are we doing? Okay. Do you want to do something else before then, or...? Let's do... let's just do that. I'm gonna do this one. At the moment. Mora. Seems a pleasant enough little place. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Oh, 
Hold up. Hold up. I'm just collecting. I'm just making, getting pizza. Now barbecue sauce. How much is it to add? Pineapple. Yes, pineapple does go on pizza. Pineapple does go on pizza. Tastes good. Spring onion. Ooh. No, 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 no. Um, cheese and garlic bread, cause, cause why not? Mm, desserts, do I want any desserts? We get a chocolate lava puff roll, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, why not? Why not? Sure I have, yeah, I have, I have running out of money. Okay. Okay. Place the order. Pe one pepperoni pizza, barbecue base with pineapple, side of cheesy garlic bread, and a chocolate lava puff roll. Whoosh. They have a habit of cancelling on me for some fucking reason. <laughs> so hopefully they don't cancel on me. Look at the drip though. Oh damn. This is 72. Oof. That defense goes down. Like, six. Mm mm. No. No, that was great, Rez. And that's not good. Okay. Now we got better one handles now. So let's see. So we got. This is. This is not. That's that. That's a. I mean, that could be. That is definitely not. Maybe that. Oh, this is kind of the, the shell. The sleek. That is sleek. That is... I don't like that. I don't like that either. What's this? Ooh. Botanical gold leaf. I actually do like that. Okay, let's stick with that. That's fine. We do have a talent point. Is there enemy's ability to take two is reduced? Let's do that. Nice. Challenges that we complete. Complete at Hogwarts.
I want to see what it looks like. Bro, no, this is the drip though, look at this, fucking dripped out man, dripped out. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, I, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. She shouldn't be up to me. She should be up to the police, actually. To um, the auras or some shit. Shouldn't be my problem, a fucking student at Hogwarts, to deal with your problem. Your actual big problem. Gotta find your when son the and the murder of your husband. Cecilia, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. But alas, I'll help you since it's the noble thing to do. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Oh yeah, there's a um your friend High Wing could put against the Let's say, uh, there's a trophy where you flip, um, I think it's either a cow or a chicken or something like, multiple times. It. Oh, fuck me. Not a sheep thing. Wait, what's that for a sec? Oh, 
Oh, okay. It's cow. I need to flip a cow. Okay. This must be little Revelio that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie! Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. His footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Rebellion. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Okay. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. Oh, nice that. Oh no, we got it. Nice. It took a while for it to kick in. Oh I shit. Hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Wait, hold up. This dress. No. They are beautiful. Fuck you. Are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. So we <laughs> saw Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. Nice. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. Accio. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it feels like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let mm. us keep moving. We must find Archie. Come here, bruh. No! <laughs> 
God damn. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have Achi. You die. Be honest, Mr. Tanner. This can be no mistakes. We locked that brazen child up. You die. You die. <clears throat> Normally I go in. Guns blazing, but uh, there's a trophy where if you like do it like 50 times or something, um, uh, you get a trophy out of it. So at the it's basically like sneak, sneak, sneak attack. He's deep inside there, all locked up. You died. I hope they locked him in the furthest depths of that tent. I don't want to have to deal with him. You die. They got to a exempt. Oh, that's how you do those. Okay. Um. How the fuck do we move it? Is I Rebellion. Which one? 
This one. Top. Wait. You good? I guess not. Um. Revelio. Okay. These ones are wrong then. Okay, now I know how to do those ones. Okay. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release the child. You die. Assassin. I didn't see that come. Did he? Walking away? No, yeah. <clears throat> what? Oh, fuck you, game. Shut up, kid. 
get to you in a sec, man. Help! Please! I need your help! Archie! <laughs> Archie Bickle! <laughs> Bro, get in a cat! sent us to find you. Uh, I'm so good! <laughs> Bro, is it a cage? Fucking human trafficking up in here, bro. Did you get this open? <laughs> bro, yeah, leave the kid in there. <laughs> no one cares. Let's go. Bro, let's burn this fucking. Fine, I'll, I'll let him out. I'll let him out. Bruh, he deserves to be locked in a cage. Look at him, bro. So sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Um, Mrs. Bickle, here's your fucking son. Should have been your problem, not mine. Oh, you're safe. Mother, oh, mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Don't tell me I have to deal with them. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful <clears throat> wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall yes. when we alone. We are here to help each other. Can bring us. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me. Anyway, uh, I want to go to Hogs Mead. Go right here. Does it get any more cozy than Hogs Mead? <laughs> Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. You could never get some of that. Those. Good choice, I'd say. Get some of that. Some of that. No, I actually want to keep on my. I'll not mind yeah. seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. It's fine. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Okay, let's go back to... Um, room of requirement. I'm just gonna. I don't know which one. No. I think. Crossed it, didn't we? Crossed the Malasweet. I think we crossed. And we crossed the Luxweet. I'm. 
I just want to put like random. Um. Mandrake. I think we crossed the mandrake before. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. I don't know how you really brush. It's uh I'll get you and Basically, I've got pets here. I'm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Professor Hammond will never believe this. Oh my unicorn. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. We need a phoenix feather. And a, another swoop of feather. But bro, I don't know how to get a phoenix.
I don't want to see dogs. Stop it. Please. Stop it.
again. Uh, I took, 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 took a bit of a break, but um. Trophy. Nice. Anyway, I'm actually gonna end the stream there. Uh, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Eat my dinner. Um, we'll be playing something else. Um, after I finish. Um, yeah. See you guys. Uh, in probably hour, hour and a half, something like that. Okay. See you guys later.